Welcome back to the Hillbilly RV channel. Uh, today I'm going to be working on a Dometic Furnace. It's a model AFMD 30121A is an Apple. I took this out of a unit here just a little bit ago. Uh, it's in a really, really noisy area, and uh, there's no way I could work on it there or show you getting it out. Um, I've got other videos. You can go find me taking furnaces in and out. But um, this one here, the, you turn it on, fan come on, and the, you could smell from the outside. The gas valve was opening, but we have no ignition. So I would imagine it's probably dirty, and uh, I hope that's what it is. And uh, but we're gonna we're gonna dig into it here and see what we can find. And uh, I'm gonna take y'all along. So y'all buckle up. Here we go. All right. Well. As I told you, this is a Dometic furnace. In order to find the model number on a Dometic furnace, model and serial number, uh, you have to access the back side of the furnace. This is the part that goes to the outside wall. And here is the tag that has that info on it. So uh, we need to get to the gas valve, which is attached to the burner assembly. And uh, all that lives down in here. So we're gonna access that. Uh, I think there's probably three or four screws here that turns this piece of plastic loose. I'll try and keep y'all in frame. I hope. I know y'all kind of looking at it upside down. Gonna be a total of three, I believe. Yep, there's three screws. This little piece of plastic comes off. And there's our gas valve and our, the, like I say, the burner assembly is attached to the gas valve. The gentleman told me this furnace, he didn't know whether it actually ever been used. And uh, I would have to agree with him. This thing, it's, I mean, other than the sawdust left over from when they built the camper, this thing looks brand new inside. So I bet you we're going to find we have some bugs in it. So, uh, we're gonna have to get the gas line off of this gas valve. In order to do that, we are gonna have to do this. This little tab here that holds this gas line to the furnace. It's got one, one screw in it. We need to get that screw out. We're going to be turning this gas line, the whole gas line, here in a minute. Now, I'm going to reach in here with a wrench where you cannot see and uh, turn that gas line. Gas line just goes on top of that valve. There's really there's really like no way to put a back a backer wrench on here. I'm gonna try to do a little something here to help hold things. You just you don't want to crank on them gas valves. It's just all there is to it. Oh mercy. Oh mercy. Oh as with everything else in my life, it's gonna give me some grief. Get this There's really no good way of doing this. Oh, there we go, I got it. I think I, think I wasn't holding my mouth right. Okay. Now that I got that uh, fitting loose, it just spins off there, and this uh, this grommet it goes through that rubber grommet. So we're just going to pull that grommet out. There's our gas line. Okay, got that out of the way. Now I need to reach down in here with a. Pretty long square drive screwdriver. 
we're probably going to have, looks like, three screws we need to get out down here. Once again, there's no way in the world you're going to see down in there. As you can tell, it's down in there that far. So let me get them three screws out. Got a little bit of wiring to deal with. We'll, we'll deal with that just in a minute. Get them three screws out. Well, I tell you, this week, this week's been awesome. Monday, me and Cameron went to do a couple jobs. Man, everything that could go wrong on those jobs went wrong. It was crazy. Um, thought I'd be done with those two jobs, you know, middle of the afternoon, at worst case scenario. <laughs> no, no, it was, it was 5 p.m. All right, so we got them three screws out. Now that, that turns the gas valve loose. We got, got the wires actually going to the gas valve itself to get part. We got a ground wire to get off. And that should release our, oh, we got the, uh, got the igniter wire. Yep, we're gonna have to get it out of the way. It runs through a raw rubber grommet right there. Goes over to the board. So we'll snip that wire tie and get a little screwdriver to get that, get this bullet shaped grommet out of this bulkhead here. Just like such. I'll show you that. I'll show you that wire here in just a second. And we're gonna get it off the board, which there's a clearance issue there, of course. Why wouldn't there be, right? I mean, why make it why make it simple on anybody, right? When we can make it difficult. Okay. So got the igniter wire off and here comes our gas valve and our burner assembly. There's our gas valve. There's our burner. This thing's never been lit. He was right. It has never been lit. Is that not crazy? But I bet you dollar it's got some bugs in the orifice right there. So let me get this furnace out of the way. We'll take this, this burner tube off of here and so we can get to that orifice and see what's in there yeah this guy says all he's ever done with it is uh is to use this camper at the beach so he's never lit it but i'm doing some other work to it there come a spider out there <laughs> there's a little spider running around not happy with me i'll tell you that that right there could be the problem. A little spitter. Like I say, that, he was not happy with me. So just two screws. Release this burner tube. And that will expose. That will expose our orifice right there. So, I've tried not jiggle this thing so that if there was something in that orifice it would still be there by the time we got the orifice out sometimes while you're disassembling whatever was in there falls out then you you get it out of there and you go well it's clean there's nothing in there and then you put it back together and it works so you got to figure at that point there was something in there, but it fell out. Sometimes, them little orifices can be pretty dang tight. Goodness gracious. Man, that one started moving and it, it ain't getting no better. Man. That sucker was tight, man. As 
super tight. So there is our orifice. <laughs> of course, it's clean. Probably whatever was in there just fell out already. <laughs> so just blow that out with your mouth or with a little bit of compressed air. <laughs> That's all. Don't ever put don't ever put anything in that hole. Okay? Oh. There was that igniter wire. And there's that bullet shaped grommet that goes through that bulkhead. Just blowing in that gas valve in that tube with my mouth. All right, I'm going to reassemble it, test fire it, see what happens. Because I couldn't find anything in it, but that's sure what it acted like to me. Because like I said, now I couldn't actually, it was so noisy where I was trying to work on it. I couldn't hear if it was trying to ignite or not. It may not have been trying to ignite, but I was just assuming that it was trying to ignite and it just was dirty. Because if there's anything at all, oh, did y'all see that? Y'all didn't see that, did you? Don't tell nobody. Uh, if there is anything in that orifice at all, she won't light. She won't light. Okay. I don't see where I hurt that thing any. Well, got the dropsies today. Get this stuff all lined up here. Get a screw back in it. Get the other screw back in it. Get these snugged up. Well, the good thing when I dropped that gas valve is uh, the igniter and all that stuff wasn't on there because that probably would have gotten bent up and that's not good when that happens. So, um, so that's all done. So we're going to stick it back in the furnace now. Again, we're going to be working down in there where y'all can't see. Just trust me that I'm putting the screws back in. I'm hooking the wires up. Hopefully I won't drop anything else. Oh. And we don't even have to, uh, we don't even have to put a long gas line on there to test it. We can just hook up right here. like this because I have a propane tank mounted in my truck here for testing purposes so I just hook up my propane line if you're ever working on one of these furnaces that the, the flue is way back inside the furnace it's actually right beside the intake for the combustion chamber so if you're ever working on one of these and you're trying to light it uh, you have to put, either take the flue out of the camper and put, just stick it in there so that the exhaust gas gets outside the furnace and doesn't go right straight back into the, uh, into the, to the intake for the, uh, for the burner tube, for the burner assembly. Um, now you might ask yourself, well, uh, how would he learn that? Would he learn that the hard way? Well, maybe maybe i learned that the hard way maybe i learned that the hard way years ago um i'm not gonna say but 
Maybe that's how that happened. But yeah, um, I don't actually have the flue. I didn't brought, not bring the flue with me, but I have this piece of pipe. I'm just gonna hold it on the end there and just see if it lights. Cause it wouldn't light before. So let me cut my gas on. And all we have to do is twist our two thermostat wires together. We have our fan. Oh, we did have. You gotta make sure those stay together. I'm gonna hold my piece of pipe up here on the flue. We'll see if she lights. I kind of don't think it's uh, trying to ignite. I don't hear it striking. Which means we probably have a bad board. Let me go grab a board. Well, I know that board ain't gonna work. You see all that corrosion and stuff? There's like the rust on the backside. Uh, Dometic had a real problem uh, with their boards getting condensation on them there several years ago. Uh, there's actually a fix for this. Uh, all it does is the, that board lays in that furnace flat and the fix is they take an angled up. I don't know. It does seem to work. I know it sounds silly, but it does seem to work. But yeah, that, that board that board ain't ever gonna make it. That thing's horrible. The more I look at it, the worse it gets. Got my board hooked up. Actually, it's not a test board. It's an OEM board. So let's try this again here. Bet it works a lot better. Okay, well, probably should have looked at that board before I tore it down. But the customer just told me he didn't think it had ever worked. He didn't know. And uh, so, you know, I don't know. I just figured it was dirty. I probably figured wrong. I'm going to call Domatic tomorrow and get the uh, upgrade kit for this furnace that puts that board at a little bit of an angle, keeps it from getting all corroded like that one is so you know right here is a prime example of assuming <laughs> we all do it uh you know i just like i say it was so noisy over on that road where i was working on this thing i couldn't hear what it was doing i couldn't even hear the fan running i had uh actually just put my fan in my, put my hand in front of the flue to see if the fan was running and uh you know, I couldn't tell whether it was striking or not. And then I got here. I didn't even try it. I just went ahead and figured, you know, usually when we see that, um, you know, that, that it you can smell the gas, but it won't ignite. Usually that orifice is dirty. So that's where I went first. And rather than doing a, vi a you know, a thorough visual inspection, but like I say, I mean, it's 20 minutes out of my life that I'll never be able to get back, but that's okay. You know, sometimes it happens. So, uh, so yeah, you know, all we can do, we're all human. All we can do is the best we can do, right? You, me, I mean, everybody, uh, that's all we can do, the best we can do. So, you know, try try your hardest and, and do your best. That's all you can do. So, so there you go. There's a cleaning your domatic furnace when it doesn't need to be cleaned. Well, it's the way my week's gone, but anyhow, we didn't waste a lot of time here. Um, like I said, I'll get uh, I get with Domatic tomorrow, see if we can get that uh, retro kit for this and uh, and, a, and a new board, and this guy will be fixed up and ready to go. And uh, I just want to thank everybody for watching. And if you're new to my channel, thanks for watching, especially uh, if you've been in my channel for a while, thank you for watching. I guess just thank you to everybody. Uh, and I'm gonna go probably in the house and eat me some supper. And uh, y'all have a fantastic day.